Top 10 Poodle Mixed Breeds for Families Designer breeds and crossbreeds are becoming increasingly common and poodle mixes are among the most popular hybrids for good reason. Poodles are one of the world's most common dog breeds, with a curly coat that sheds very little. These dogs are ideal for someone who enjoys dogs but despises the mess they make. They are intelligent and active dogs who are extremely adaptable to a variety of living situations. Do you consider purchasing Poodle Mixed Breeds? In this video, you will learn everything about the top 10 Poodle Mixed Breeds for families, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. In the list of top 10 Poodle Mixed Breeds for families, at number 10, we have Pomapoo. A Pomapoo is a mix of a Pomeranian and a Toy Poodle. When fully grown, this tiny hybrid weighs only 3 to 9 pounds. As a result, they don't need a lot of exercise. Each day, about an hour of playtime, short walks or a combination of both is appropriate. Both Pomeranians and Toy Poodles are extremely loyal to the families and form strong bonds with a single human. They may have defensive habits. This activity can be aided by proper socialization. When they are tired of being petted or messed with, they may become grumpy or nippy. As a result, this combination is unlikely to appeal to a family of young children who do not know when enough is enough without proper training. Next on the list at number 9, we have Shehpu. The Shehpu is the product of crossing a Shih Tzu with a miniature or toy poodle. Shehpus can weigh between 4 and 16 pounds. If a toy or miniature poodle was bred with the Shih Tzu parent determines how small they are. This hybrid is typically a cuddler that only requires a small amount of running around each day to meet their energy needs. A Shehpu can inherit a protective attitude towards their owners or relatives, as well as a tendency to bark. They can even become irritable as a result of being fussed over. Socialization and having these dogs in the right setting are ideal with these characteristics in mind. Next on the list at number 8, we have Westipoo. The Westipoo is a hybrid between a West Highland White Terrier, also known as a Westie, and a Miniature Poodle. This hybrid is the largest of the Miniature Poodle mixes. It weighs between 20 and 30 pounds when fully grown. Some Westipoos form strong bonds with one or more family members due to their Poodle ancestry. They could become wary of strangers as a result of this. To avoid yippy or nippy behavior, children must be socialized with people and animals at a young age. Some Westipoos have a high prey drive due to their terrier ancestry. This may rule them out of consideration for homes with cats or other small animals. However, after training, they get along well with children. Next on the list at number 7 we have Cavapoo. The Cavapoo is a hybrid between a Cavalier King Charles' Spaniel and a miniature or toy poodle. At maturity, this cross can weigh between 10 and 18 pounds. They are strong dogs that prefer a relatively active lifestyle. They do, however, love lounging in your lap. This hybrid, like many tiny poodle mixes, has a few behavioral quirks. Cavapoos are known for their protective nature. This contact can be alleviated by proper socialization once again. Prey drive is heavy in Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. When they are outside, a Cavapoo might even want to run after animals. Next on the list at number 6, we have Miniature Labradoodle. The offspring of a Miniature Poodle and a Labrador Retriever is known as a Miniature Labradoodle. These small poodle crosses are cousins to the extremely common Labradoodle, which is a hybrid between a standard poodle and a Labrador Retriever. Miniature Labradoodles aren't all the same size. The cross may be as tiny as a miniature poodle, as big as a Labrador Retriever, or somewhere in between. The same may be said of the personality of the combination. Strangers are usually welcomed with open arms by Labradors. Miniature Poodles, on the other hand, might be shy. Next on the list at number 5, we have Miniature Schnoodle. A Miniature Schnoodle is a Miniature Schnauzer crossed with a Miniature Poodle. This mix can reach a weight of 10 to 20 pounds. 
They may be very devoted to their owners or may or may not have conflicts with strangers. Small schnugels with a teddy bear coat are extremely common. However, in first generation crosses, this coat is not assured because the resulting puppies can have the curls of a poodle or the wiry coat of a schnauzer. Next on the list at number 4, we have Yorkie Poo. This is one of the most common poodle mixes for small dogs. The Yorkie Poo is a Yorkshire Terrier crossed with a poodle. Yorkie Poos can weigh as little as 4 pounds or as much as 15 pounds, depending on their parent sizes. They love spending time with their human companions and will go to any length to get your attention. Some Yorkie Poos, on the other hand, become overly attached to their families. They may have defensive habits. For these breeds of dogs, it's impossible to overemphasize the importance of proper socialization. This hybrid often needs regular short bursts of exercise due to its high energy level. Next on the list at number 3, we have Cockapoo. A Cockapoo is a hybrid between a Cocker Spaniel and a miniature, toy or standard poodle. When a miniature or toy poodle is crossed, you get a curly coated ball of pure cuteness, which can range in weight from 6 pounds to 18 pounds. The poodle has a low shedding rate. However, the Cocker Spaniel sheds a lot of hair. This cross can shed heavily, seasonally or not at all, depending on which coat form they inherit. Cockapoos are generally friendly and intelligent little creatures. They almost never inherit an undesirable personality. Next on the list at number 2, we have Maltipoo. The Maltese is crossed with a miniature or toy poodle to create this iconic poodle hybrid. Maltipoos can weigh anywhere from 5 to 15 pounds, depending on whether the poodle parent is toy or miniature. They are easygoing dogs that make excellent companions. However, they are dissatisfied with their alone time as a result of this. This will make them bark their displeasure. The Maltipoos coat sheds very little. To keep the coat from matting, they'll need weekly brushing and monthly grooming visits, regardless of coat style. Multipoos can pass on health issues that are common in their parent breeds. Finally, on the list at number 1, we have Bicon Poodle. The Bicon Poodle is a cross between a Bicon Fries and a miniature or toy poodle. This member of the mini poodle mixed breed creates a dog that is both involved and patient. It's easy to see why it's such a famous family pet. Big poos will weigh anywhere from 6 to 12 pounds, depending on whether the poodle parent is a toy or miniature. They have a curly, medium length coat that is white or apricot in color and sheds very little. Grooming includes regular brushing and monthly coat trims. Bicon poodles, like many tiny poodle mixes, can be a bit of a barker. When they are left alone for long periods of time, the barking can become even more serious. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss more videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.